In this video, we're going to create the component that represents the car that picks us up and takes us to our destination. This pickup car component is going to need the car service just like as in the available cars component. So I'm going to remove the injected provider from this component into its parent component in the map. So that way they share the same instance of the car service. Now I'm going to add the pickup car component to the map template. And I'll pass in the map and whether the pickup has been requested as inputs. Now I'm going to go back to the controller. I'll add in these inputs and I'll also implement the init and on changes methods. When is pickup requested changes, we want to request the car and show it on the map. And when it's canceled, we want to be able to cancel the request and remove the car from the map. So in order to do that, we're going to need to add a method to our car service. which we'll create called find pickup car and we'll pass in our current location that we want to be picked up and we'll pass in that location as an input to this component so what do we want to happen once the car has been requested well first we'll want to show the car on the map and maybe we'll also show the car path in its current directions toward us and we'll keep updating the car as we get new position updates but first we're going to need the pickup location for the car but to get our current location in our map component we're going to need to get that from our pickup component and the way data gets from the child component to the parent component is through an output event emitter which we'll call updated pickup location, which will fire anytime there's a new pickup location. So we'll pass in the pickup marker's current position as our pickup location. And that parameter becomes the event variable inside our map component. And we'll also center our location whenever the pickup location changes. So I may have went through that a bit fast, but the essence is that data moves up to the parent components or pages via outputting event emitters. And then data moves down to child components by data binding inputs. So we can see how we can output data from a child component up to the parent and then back down to a different child component using an input. There are other ways we could accomplish this and in a later lesson, I'll show how to implement a custom publish and subscribe model to pass data between components and pages. So now let's get back to the car service method that is going to find our pickup car. I'll implement this service method in the next lesson, but for now, I'm going to import our pickup car directive into our map component and I'll rename it with a directive appended to the name to make it more clear in my import and I'll console out a message in my request car to confirm that I was able to pass the pickup location from my pickup pin to my map and then back down to my pickup car And if you look at your console, 
you'll see that it worked.